Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the Garage Jam. And today we are going to do a review of this right here, the Stud Bar Pull-Up Bar. This here is the standard edition. And this is the second time I've owned this amazing pull-up bar. 10, 11 years ago, I reviewed it here on the YouTube channel where the lighting actually wasn't much worse than this. We're still working on this space to give the Garage Jam more of a studio type feel, better lighting, better audio better acoustics but the number one thing we wanted to do was put quality gym equipment in this garage gym we have a good amount of space we're really blessed but it's still pretty limited and even though we have the force usa g15 all-in-one trainer which includes a multi-grip pull-up bar i missed having this straight bar style of pull-up bar to be able to do different stuff you can see here we have a trx we also have a band I never do pull-ups without a power band, whether it's on this, the G15, which we're gonna have installed tomorrow at the time of this recording. I had it with the G3, the G6. Uh, even when I take it to a gym and there's a pull-up bar, I use a band that's better for quality reps as opposed to quantity reps. So you're gonna see me use this. You're also gonna see me use this uh, for rows. It's a back and bicep day. So I can even do biceps with this. Uh, but we're also going to use the power block dumbbells. So most of this video is going to be edited so you can see how I utilize the stud bar pull-up bar as I give my thoughts and as I talk about how it was installed. Now, it's not a super easy installation, but if you're a little bit handy, it's fine. Before, well, Actually, we're going to talk about the, the uh, installation right now. And what you need to do is you need to drill uh, into the studs or the joists in the ceiling. We chose to go with the wall. This is... Uh, according to Mark from Stud Bar Pull-Up, is not the most ideal solution, uh, but the way this ceiling is in the garage gym, it was better to do it here. Plus, this was the space I wanted the uh, pull-up bar in between the G15, the Squat Max. It's a perfect setup right here to do pull-ups and other exercises. You can even back up towards the camera, onto the turf, to do rows, which you'll see in a little bit. But... Um, I'm really, really impressed. This thing has a lifetime warranty. I don't see myself using it, uh, but it's definitely, it's a beast. So if anything happens to it for some odd reason, Mark said it has a lifetime warranty and you'll be able to exchange it. God forbid, hopefully nobody gets injured or hurt or anything, but if there's any kind of defect or anything like that, which I have not encountered when I did the one 10, 11 years ago, and I haven't encountered it with this yet. I actually feel pretty safe even doing uh, inversion boots on this, which was the previous use for this as well. We'll talk about that as we go through it. Uh, my pre-workout is kicked in and I'm ready to go. So let's uh, let's start the full workout review of the Stud Bar Pull-Up Bar Standard Edition. So there's two safety measures that I employ when it comes to pull-ups. I have a thumb injury that's just nagging me for so many years. So if I jump up and slam this thumb like I did the first time I used it, it's going to hurt, and I, I'm going to not be able to get a proper grip. So I step up onto my FID bench here, and then what I do is loosen up the resistance band here and then move it to the center or wherever you're going to pull up. So I can easily slide this over out of the way, so I just keep it attached, just like the TRX. And then I slide it across to where I'm going to be centered and then just tighten it up there. Uh, we'll do another dedicated video, by the way, on doing pull-ups with the power band but it is up here on the youtube channel and it's it's a pretty popular video so i appreciate everybody watching that so i'm going to do an overhand first now for this usually thumbs up hurts more i'll do thumbs around the bottom i could use one foot or two feet as i go through the sets with overhand with chin-ups even with vaulter grip pull-ups uh, i'm going to basically um, use two feet as I weaken. But right now, I think one foot will be good, and I don't even count the reps. I mean, even go for four, five, six. This is literally the second time that I'm doing pull-ups since I put this in here. I haven't been able to do pull-ups in a while, so I'm really excited. Hopefully, I do pretty good. So let's come down here. Now, the band enables me to not have much momentum. And see, I got enough head space here to come up. I can't do a muscle-up, but it can do a full pull-up over the bar and a full stretch without touching the floor, which is perfect. The perfect setup for me to do proper pull-ups. I also have that light mirror back there. I could put that in front of the wall and do my pull-ups and then step up on the bench, come up here 
and my heart rate's all, oh, I forgot to start my Apple Watch. Does it count if you don't use your Apple Watch? If you don't register it, it, it does. So that's the first set of pull-ups. Let's come back uh, as we switch our feed here and just talk a little bit, hopefully as I'm doing the pull-ups, about some of my thoughts about this as well. So as I get ready to do this set, I wanna talk about the measurements of this. This is 48 inches. So basically when you have it in the wall, the studs are every 16 inches. You're gonna need a stud finder. And in the ceiling, I believe it's every 24 inches. So they thought about whether you wanna put it into the wall or the ceiling, which is very thoughtful and very nice with the measurements. And let's do our next set here. I just gotta say pull-ups. I just miss doing them so much. My form might not be perfect. But you know what? I feel so much better with body weight exercises like pull-ups, push-ups, and then even using TRX and suspension training. And if I wanted to, besides TRX, if I wanted to use the monkey bars too, or the pocket monkey for a more portable or a smaller footprint, uh, you can use those. And I have affiliate links for the TRX as well as uh, the stuff from monkey. Pretty good stuff. So like I said in the beginning, we don't have the lighting down, so we're shooting right into the overhead light in the garage. We'll probably do a video on how we can better set up the lighting. But I wanna point out the, the pull-up bar right here is on the very outside. You can also put it in here, but I like having it stick out this far. If I wanted to do any kind of leg raises or knee raises for my abs, which I've done, I can also face outward if I want, but I like the fact that it's out here and has the space from the wall. Your space might not allow for you to have that, but, but either way, this is gonna stick out all the way, so you might as well go for the outside to give you more room rather than feeling like you're limited. And you can also use this nut to take this out and then put it in here, but the way we installed it was we left it loose. We didn't tighten everything up. We hand tightened or just socket tightened it a little bit, and we're able to push this out and then put the bar on each side. So it might be super difficult to do after everything is secure. Let's do another pull up, still with one foot. Feel good, I'm just gonna hang here. Pause, oh, I made it a little rougher. <laughs> but man, this thing is super sturdy. It has not moved and it's, it's not going anywhere. And my heart rate's 120. So as we do our last set on the overhand pull-ups, I just want to show you the foot clearance where this is into the wall and we kind of just uh, butt it up against the ceiling to make it uh, even very easily. We use the level, but the fact that I can hang all the way down and not touch the floor gives my back just such a nice stretch and to be able to do a full pull-up is very nice. See, so it just clears it just, it's, that Goldilocks effect, it's the perfect height. Oh, it's getting tougher. But that's the perfect height where my feet are not gonna touch the floor and I don't need to throw my feet back away from the pull-up. It can be completely straight down to the floor. So besides the wide overhand grip, I really miss doing chin-ups on a straight bar. On the G15 and other ones, they have a 45 degree angle one, which is really nice. But there's something to be said about doing the close grip chin-ups or even close grip overhands or any place there to have that full straight bar. I wish Force USA would allow, like with the classic Myrac, to be able to have a straight bar, a uh, pull-up bar, to be able to swap out with the multi-grip. There's always room for improvement, but this also, you can do it as a hold for biceps, which for me will be a finish. Uh, I can do a little bit better with these. Gotta watch my right bicep, because I have an injury there. So I'm not going all the way down, but you can see the flexion of my super small bicep. There are, no, I can't do another one. See, that's why the band's great. Whew, always just go to failure. I don't really count the reps. So, but that's an excellent grip here. Uh, and I like it. It's not too thick, not too thin. They did a nice job with the, uh, picking the thickness of the uh, pull-up bar. So I'm gonna do vaulter pull-ups. And this time I'm gonna put both my feet in the resistance band, the power band here, because I have, that uh, bicep injury, so I'm gonna switch. I'm only gonna do two or three of each. Let's go with the harder version first. I'm gonna step in here with both of my feet, give a little resistance, then there we go, I'll do three. So this is my weak part, maybe four? No, three. All right, now what I gotta do is step back, switch it here, 
I should really do the 2022 version of why I use a resistance band for our pull-ups all the time. Here we go. One, two, three. Just got to be careful. One foot off. Bring it up. Don't let that snap. This thing, you can use a thicker band if you want. A thicker band for more. It's kind of like that the, uh, pull-up assist machine, but a much, much cheaper, uh, lesser footprint, and dare I say, a better version in my opinion. All right, so now we're going to use the stud bar pull-up bar. Is kind of, well, it's going to be literally an anchor, so you don't need a door anchor or anything else or have to put the TRX kind of ceiling or wall mount in there. You can just use this as the mount, and I'm going to do rows with this. I'm on the turf, so I'm going to try to see if I can come back, start right here, and come all the way back. I got enough room, I think. Still a tight space. Even with my fat ass, I don't feel the stud bar moving off of the wall. Keep my feet flat. Ugh. My back is sore from those pull-ups and this. Using isometrics and squeezing and my body weight with suspension training. Whew. I can feel it. And just step out of that. So I can leave the TRX pretty much just up. I can leave the band up. And even if I don't want to use uh, neither one of those, there's plenty of space on the bar to be able to do that or to be able to slide them. So it'll have a multi-use. I even have some uh, knockoff angle 90 grips where I can switch and do pull-ups where I twist. I can leave those up there as well. So the bar gives enough space, not only technically to do pull-ups, but not so officially for storage as well, to get storage off of the floor and out of the boxes. I mean, I'll load it up all the way, but you can have multiple uses for the bar uh, when it's not for pull-ups too. So congratulations, you get to see my super messy gym with the G15 upgrade kit and everything in the background ready to be installed. But I just wanted to point out, I'm about to do hanging leg raises for my abs and I can just slide over the TRX out of the way for the camera here. And what I'm gonna do, same thing with the bench here. I just wanna demonstrate how this outside hole is really where you should put the pull-up bar, whether you're here on the wall or the ceiling, obviously you're gonna be able to do hanging leg raises, but it gives you more room also above uh, when you're gonna do pull-ups, that way your head doesn't hit the ceiling. So I, I really don't know why you would use the inside hole of the uh, stud bar. I always use the outside with the previous one and this one, and I have just enough here. Now, if I wanted to do straight legs, obviously I'd have to turn it around, but I'm just trying to be safe, especially since I did a bunch of pull-ups. My grip is not, too great right now. So if I wanted to use hanging ab straps, that would probably be a good idea at this point. But you can see I, I can get a full stretch, even do a tight little isometric hold for my abs. And then I always use the bench to safely go in and out of any exercise. Just if you have a bench or a plyo box, use it. There's no reason to be a hero and jump into it and tear a bicep or hurt yourself like I used to. <laughs> So that about does it, at least for now. This is, of course, the initial full review. Actually, the second one. We did one 10, 11 years ago. Uh, that video, that this lighting isn't great. That lighting was absolutely terrible. The audio is terrible. But I keep those up. Uh, it's fun to look sometimes and cringy to look at the old videos. But this thing has stood the test of time. If I had hung on to that stud bar pull-up, there's no doubt that it would still be in great condition. I could have reinstalled it into this garage gym. So highly recommend it. And we will be giving updated reviews. We love to do that here on the YouTube channel through the garage gym tours coming soon. We've never done a garage gym tour. It's always been a home gym tour, but now the garage gym is our dedicated fitness and workout space that we're gonna be bringing all the content. We're gonna build this out. The home gym area is now gonna become a production studio for podcasts, live streams, voiceovers, other really cool stuff to kind of feed both of my passions. Fitness here, technology in that room, and also keeps my wife's home clean. She agreed to turn our past apartment into a home gym, and it was such a blessing, and I appreciate her support, and that's why we're here today doing what we're doing. Uh, but getting back to the Stud Bar pull-up bar, we don't yet have an affiliate. I'm going to contact Mark, the owner and founder of Stud Bar, to see if I can get any sort of link or discount code to pass along to you. They also have this available on Amazon. So if you go through my Amazon link, a little bit of that comes back via gift card to help fund everything here on the YouTube channel, as well as the TRX. We have one for the USA, one for UK, 
Force USA, of course, forceusa.com forward slash TV. Um, just check the link. My God, I'm still winded from all the pull-ups and stuff. Uh, just check the links in the description below. And like I said, we'll have updated reviews on this, but I think it's going to be more of the same. This thing is built like a tank, has a lifetime warranty, and I'm very happy to have this type of pull-up back in my home gym space. Most importantly, outside of all that, God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.